Asset allocation is an investment strategy that attempts to mitigate risk by diversifying resources according to different asset classes that move in different directions given the same market conditions. So when I talk to my clients about asset allocation and diversifying their portfolios, I remind them there are large cap stocks, international companies, and bonds, which seldomly move in the same direction. By putting a little bit of your resources in each asset classes, you can diversify the portfolio and you can normalize your returns regardless of what's happening in the market. In a perfect world, the stock market's gonna go in one direction, up. But experience tells us that there are pullbacks. And once that happens, you want alternative asset classes that are not correlated with the broader market. That might include real estate investment trust, commodities, even precious metals, which move in different directions to the market. While in the short term, they may not look attractive, over long term, they're gonna normalize your returns. You'll experience fewer highs and fewer lows. Your asset allocation is gonna be a function of when you need the money. Obviously, if you need the money within the next 20 or 30 years, and you have more exposure to stocks, if there is a pullback, you have more time to recover. By the same token, if you know you're a more conservative investor, perhaps you have more alternative asset classes, because while giving more on the upside away, you protect yourself on the downside. There's a lot of moving parts in asset allocation. That's why you should sit down with your financial planner and make sure that your strategy is consistent with your goals and objectives. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.